Hello everybody and welcome to the Ant Hall for Extra channel. Today I'm gonna to be building, or not today, over the next few weeks I'm gonna be building my new leaf cutter outworld setup. This is here, this right here is the new outworld for the leaf cutters. We'll have a rope coming up here, coming up to the ceiling, heading over here something, coming down over here and following from the pipe and all the way around to the leaf cutters over here. So uh, yeah, sorry for my camera work isn't the best. So over the past few days I've been discussing this a lot with Wakushi and because uh, he's a very he's very good at coming with some criticism, some constructive criticism about my ideas and we've talked a lot about uh, these have just been test stands to see how everything would fit um, and we've been talked a lot about the height of the walls and how the camera shall be placed and all of these things with the rope and stuff like plants um, and this morning I took some old acrylic and did a knockout version where I just put two screws in to see how it all worked. And what we're we gonna do today uh, is the first part and uh, is to build the table. Um, so I have bought myself a lot of acrylic and I'm gonna go down and cut it. And uh, I'm gonna put these walls all the way around this outworld. Okay, so the first side is now on. We have, of course, not peeled the protective layer away. Um, I know now that I'll have to put some silicone down here all the way, I think, to make it completely escape proof. I really did not like screwing these in because I felt like they could break at any moment. Um, I decided not to remove this. This was where I cut. This was the outside line. Um, I decided not to remove this because I'm lazy. And we'll see if it's something I'll have to remove in the future. Um, what I expected to be a big problem which have become a problem is that this side did not, did not go very well. You can see how bendy it is. It's not going to be fun to put the other side on. And this is just on the outside. And this is just on the inside. So there's a few things to uh, see what we'll do with it. But uh, let's be honest, I am not a chef. I'm not a pro. I have never really worked with acrylic before. So it's the first time and I, yeah, I'm fine. It should be all right. Um, the thing is just, um, I don't want to put silicone on the inside. So I think I'll have to put silicone on the outside to make it, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. So a while later <coughs> and um, the four sides have now been completed. We now have all four sides. Um, and what I'll do now is I'll put silicone down here in the gap all the way around and also silicone these corners because these corners are not uh, good at all the ants can just escape um, this is definitely the biggest weak point of DIY and this was also what I feared um, and it is exactly what I feared because these uh, there's, there are big gaps um, but at the time of recording I'm very much hoping that silicone can help because um, we have something like this and just uh, yeah I'm, I'm not gonna ask for help because I'm just gonna I guess I can just do that and silicone it like that. So I'll 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 go around and silicone everything now. Hello everyone, a new update and a lot of things to uh, talk about. I put this in yesterday now, and I did use the silicone, the cork or silicone. I don't know what it's called. Uh, I can't remember if I said this yesterday, but it turned out very bad, and it will be a very big and a uh, high escape risk. I will just try to see how I can remove it, like here, but else I will put um, see-through tape on it because the tape can give it a surface area, so it may be all right. We also have some ropes down here. Um, this is not done yet, but we have a rope coming up here into a pipe. A pipe is going all the way over here, coming down through the toilet. Um, the, yeah, I don't know, the, the connections, the turning, walking, uh, all the way behind the Mesa Barbers and coming over here and turning again. Um, so initially we started with this section right here and we put this up. This uh, the, the big problem is this currently just sits on with tape. We have tape here, double two-sided tape that comes up to this connector, uh, connection and as you can see already here the tape is falling off so it is not something I will trust and um, I will go out and buy two more of these so one of these will be located here, 
to put it in here and one of them will be located down here to support the tape with the tape oh, sorry down here with the tape and the supports I think it will be all right although looking at it I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit that in that but that's something I'll have to figure out as you can see I did put um, a rope inside simply to help the ants if they have a hard time getting up and around so they can have this rope to help them now over here it isn't done yet this will I'll do I'll get something down from the top uh, some fish line to push it up here so we have a line going straight down here and that is my current thought so whereas now it's a lot it's it's falling down it'll be something more like like this once it's done um, and yeah that has been a little update um, this is not any professional I've just put screws in here because the pipe really wants to come out so I've just put screws this was initially also just put down with tape but I don't trust the tape so I've put it uh, down now I didn't know how I was gonna come in to this um, but I finally have somewhat of a plan I'll run the pipe over here take a 90 degree come up here so we'll 90 degree here and another 90 degree here that goes down through this hole and I will go up put rope in so this will be the entrance to the whole old system um, yeah that is my plan 90 degree so it goes or yeah I don't quite know here yet but I want to go up here and yeah go over here and then maybe I go I don't know quite know the thing is with this pipe is it's very very hard to turn, it's very solid, um, hence why I don't trust the tape I've used. So I may have to use three of the pipes, the problem is the pipes are just very expensive so I don't want to use three pipes. But I can see looking at it here I think it is the best to go 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree and onwards all the way over there. So that is the current update of building the massive leaf cutter setup. So time for yet another update. What you're seeing right here is recording mode with the lights being turned on, all uh, all three big lights. Um, what I was afraid of, I've of course added this substrate, and what I was afraid of was that it would be a bit too white, and in the recordings when I have it on the screen it is too white. Um, but I think at the moment this sand is very wet. Um, these rocks I've added are very wet, it's not really what I had hoped for. Um, but I think in a few days once it's drying it'll be a little bit better. Um, but I think I'll mainly, I'll be leaves around here. I think I'll also, over here I'll add like a little 3D printed table. Um, and then I think I'll add some branches along the way, I don't have those at the moment. But I think that is something I'll definitely add. Um, but yeah, from there the rope now goes up. And we have actually now made this little thing that holds the rope. And from there it of course goes through the long tube with the rope inside. And it goes down. The mic is of course supposed to be over here. Comes down and goes through. Uh, as I said it's recording mode so that's why there's funny lights. Comes over here, takes a turn, goes over here. And keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, and comes up here and goes not yet down, but it's supposed to go down there. And I have a rope, so we'll, they will be able to get up. And the rope goes through and goes down there. And that is my current update. So, oops, sorry. So I don't think I'll, um, I think I'll, of course, I'll let the sand settle a little bit over there, and I will wait a while before connecting it. Um, it is Sunday and tomorrow it's Monday and I think I'll wait uh, till next Saturday before I'm gonna release them just to make sure I can observe everything that happens and if they are escaping I can also observe that but uh, yeah now you can see the full piping because the full piping is now done it goes all the way over comes all the way up here and finishes off by going in there so to be quite frankly, I can't remember what I said in my last update. This is all ready now and um, I've discussed a little bit with myself rather to take this pipe and put it down or to just take a pipe like this in here and then down. I'm not too sure yet, 
Um, I have decorated a little bit more over here in this outworld. Um, I'm still not sure if this will be the ideal, I don't know, substrate. Um, made a little walkway and made a little fun fun, but um, yeah, I'm not sure it will work out well. Um, but good thing this will be slowly will be filled with branches. I'm not too sure how to clean up, if I will do clean up yet and how it will work. Um, but I have officially at the time of recorded posted my first TikTok and uh, showed this to the world. And so many people are concerned about this construct, uh, con construction, contraption, contraption. And um, yeah, I'm definitely also nervous. This is uh, one of the big things I'm scared of. Is rather um, is anti escape prevention here will work or not? There's not much to say. Then only time will tell. Um, only time will tell if it works or not. Um, to be honest, I'm 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 more scared of the corners. Um, again, I have applied tape now. And it is officially pretty much all ready. The rocks down here are dry. Everything is ready. I just need the time to set up and record because if everything goes wrong, I'm I'm gonna be there to fix it. Um, so of course, also, I need to add all the escape prevention. It is yet to be added, but as soon as that is added, everything is now ready for the ants to start walking through. And eating in here. I, they got a massive feast yesterday, but you can't see it because they've just eaten everything. Um, but I'm gonna dry them one day and possibly also tomorrow, so it'll be a long time without actually getting any food. So hopefully, these two days without any leaves will uh, make them extra happy to walk all the way over there, all the way around, and to find their first bramble. Um, so yes, this will be very interesting and uh, yeah, I'm very nervous and also very excited. I'm very impressed with how well the silicone right here. I did of course put silicone all the way around the corners and although it has sucked a little bit of sand, there is no sand falling through so the silicone is a good seal all the way around so that is very nice. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm nervous but I'm also excited to finally get this in use. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are beginning to hit the end of this video right here. Could we could we get some focus? Maybe maybe I should put out autofocus on. As you can see, the ants have been let in and they are crazy busy with feeding. Looking around, it is uh, very, very, very scary looking at all the ants testing the barriers. And I almost touched the rope with my head right there. They are testing the barriers pretty much everywhere and... Um, it's definitely something I'm very scared of looking at because um, yeah, they are they are coming high up already, but I don't know if it's because the, the barrier doesn't start before up there. But for me, that is way too high, and um, yeah, it's very scary. Looking at the uh, first feed I gave them, they are currently very busy tracking the leaves, the leaves all the way up, all the way up, and then up here is another connection. I'm of course very scared of. Um, oh, my rope almost touched the ants. It's uh, something to get used to that you can touch the ants. Um, yeah, they are very busy getting all the leaves in. Um, as you can see, we have some workers that are testing a little bit too far, I feel. I feel they're a little bit too far ahead um, in the testing, but uh, you know, only time will tell what go, what's going on. It took them a total around, um, took uh, 20 minutes to come here and it took them 10 minutes to fall down here and it took them another 10 minutes uh, so 40 minutes from when they f when they were let in before they started cutting and within 20 minutes almost they have cut uh, a lot of the leaf and they are now starting to come all the way home with the leaves so up here follow 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 I'm not sure if they're using the rope or not it feel I feel they are using the, using the rope but um yeah it's very crazy to see how many ants that are running back and forward, and they are. It's funny. It's almost a bit quiet in the in here at the moment. Um, but yeah, they are almost home with the first set of leaves, as far as I can see. Um, maybe they don't know where to put the leaves, uh, because I saw a lot of leaves hitting this mark, but uh, can't quite see if they have. Okay, they have made it home. Uh, that was quite simple. They have made it all the way home. Um, I'm sorry for this bad recording, <laughs> I feel it's not very professional, but that's what the main video is for. 
this is just the um, behind the scenes, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's been very interesting making this project, and it's very scary to actually follow follow the progress up here. Um, this looks mega cool. Workers up there is not mega cool, <laughs> and even worse is the workers testing the barriers. It's not cool either. Um, but yeah, it's super cool to see so much life. There's just ants all over the, the place, and uh, super, super funny actually witnessing all the ants moving around and just being crazy. Yeah, it's uh, it's, oh, we have a le leaf just fell down. Ah, who dropped the leaf? Someone dropped the leaf. Yeah, I hope you've liked this behind the scenes video. The main video will, of course, go into all the macro touch. Another leaf fell. Who's dropping those leaves? Do they have a hard time coming in the door? I'm guessing this is a bit hard to come in here. Oops. Save me. No, nope. both of them walk straight through without problems. Another one straight through without problems. I don't know where they fall and drop the leaves. But yeah, it's very, very fascinating just watching them actually go out and cut leaves. So fascinating. And there's just almost no leaf remaining. That's just, that's just crazy, man, how quick they have been. That's insane. Very insane. Standing here, I am wondering if I should make some kind of lid for the corners. I don't know if it will help. Um, I mean, by the time you see this, it's too late, but... Um, because then, then this will be in, have been in use in around two weeks. Hopefully, it's been in use in two weeks at that time. Um, but I'm very concerned at the corners, simply because I'm afraid that um, they will come out. And I'm thinking to put something on top of it. Although I'm not sure if that will help or not. Um, I have used oil and not fluon, simply because in the past they have been very bad at oil. And the fluon have not worked too well for my perspective. Um, but... Um, they have also breached the oils in the past as well, so yeah, I guess it's just following the progress. But uh, yeah, it looks looks super awesome, man. Looks super awesome. So to come here with some final thoughts, the setup have now been in use for around a day or so, uh, two days, no, one day, one day, um, and yeah, so far everything has worked just as it was supposed to work. Um, as you can see, I have made corner pieces now, simply because if they get up, they will hit the corner pieces. It's very interesting and very concerning for me to look around, because there are so many deaths. Um, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of deaths, but of course they are, they are all the deaths from, from the main nest now being transported out, so... Yeah. I'm just trying to see if I can actually see the deaths being transported out. I'm a little bit scared that maybe I fed them something they didn't like. Um, so far they haven't at all tested this barrier, um, com in s except for the first day. Um, but yeah, the first cut have just been stored up here, um, in the in the in the the tube. So they are, they have been busy cutting and just putting all of it up here. But it's just fantastic following. It's also quite interesting that they have um, moved a lot of the rocks around. So the rocks here were in a pattern here, and they have moved them all over the place. Um, but yeah, this this is the trash pile, the dead pile, the graveyard. Um, yeah, very interesting to follow. Yeah, like this. It's this trash. It actually looks like it might be trash. That's the thing. It's gonna be interesting to follow what they'll do. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm very positively impressed for the setup. Um, I have talked with a few few people about making a moat or something as a second defense, but I think I will. I think this is a rough surface. I can't lie. I can't lie. I'm not clever. I talked with Wakushi and literally we talked about a moat. Uh, I also talked with Anne Stavie about a moat or aquarium. And uh, that is just a lot of maintenance that I don't have time to. Um, but by simply putting tape on this, I can put flu on this. And if they escape, they won't create a trail walking down. They may, some may fall and escape. But this will be uh, a line of tape to simply just uh, put protection on. And then they won't escape because then they will hit the tape. And if they escape, they'll walk around out here, um, but they won't walk down here because they will simply 
hit a new barrier and that barrier should hopefully last the, the 12 hours I'm not looking at them. Um, probably something similar up here. Maybe putting a putting at, at the barrier stops around here. But in theory I could use the barrier all the way over here. I think I'll change the fluent so I can see the barrier over here. Because I don't actually know where it starts up here. Here, here. It's begun here. So we have this distance without any barriers. And it doesn't matter because it's it's a long barrier from here all the way over there and they're not even testing it so Yeah, I'm just overly concerned, but yeah guys. I hope you have enjoyed this behind the scenes video Um, this video have come out at the same time as the main channel video. So yeah, give, give that a watch Or if you have watched both of them, um, thank you. It is a very boring uh, just chatty video Um, but I want to say I, I, I'm, I love looking right here Really really interesting looking here. Also, there is a lot of leaves actually getting dropped. I haven't seen any workers come out yet, but they're dropping a lot of the leaves and due to the wind or something, they fly all the way out here. So there are small leaf pieces that have been dropped. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter because a lot of them are coming up. Um, yeah, it's so fascinating to follow. So fascinating. And I'm so glad I did this until the day they escape. But so far, I'm very happy I did it. Uh, yeah, just what I had dreamed of. But yeah, I want to say thank you all for watching another leaf just fell. Thank you all for watching and um, don't forget to like and subscribe and of course see the main video. If you want some more relaxed videos or shorts, this is the channel to go to. Um, as the main uh, main channel will be a lot more focused on hardcore real life uh, videos. <laughs> With that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in another video. Mm -hmm.